Let's take a look at the forecast as uh, meteorologist Isaac Williams keeping a close eye on things, hopefully getting some good sunshine here when that sun comes up in what, about 30 to 40 minutes, Isaac? Yep, that's right. Before 7 o'clock now, we're getting that sun up. We'll have lots of sunshine this morning and this afternoon we'll have more of it, but we may see a shower or two in the upstate this afternoon. We're starting off in the 40s and 50s here and in northeast Georgia, Tacoa checking in at 46, Hartwell at 49. A mixture of temperatures up in the mountains. We've got some 40s and 50s out there. A wind setting up out of the west today and we're going to see these winds increase dramatically later in the afternoon. Highs today reach the 70s, but the wind is going to certainly increase gusts up to 25 miles per hour for several hours this afternoon. And there is a chance of a few showers, though I think most of us stay dry in the upstate mountains. We will have a slightly better potential for a few passing showers. Highs reach the upper 60s with an even stronger wind, especially in this wind advisory area. Buncombe, McDowell, Yancey and Mitchell counties. Wind advisory there for the high mountains where gusts could approach 50 miles per hour. Rating your day on the Carolina Sky Meter, it's going to be a nine today. It is uh, very close to perfection. That small rain chance and strong breeze, though, keeping us from that 10. On radar this morning, we are dry for the most part that we're watching, though. Already a few showers starting to work over the border of Tennessee and North Carolina, Swain, Graham counties there. But as we look at future cast, they are going to basically fall apart probably before they reach Asheville. So a small chance of rain this morning, upstate fully sunny. This afternoon, we're going to see more in the way of downpours on a scattered basis across the mountains, and one or two of those could maybe break containment, if you will, and, and reach the upstate. I don't think we're going to see widespread measurable rain today, uh, but don't be surprised if you do say a brief brief shower. Tonight we have a frost advisory in effect for the southwestern mountains of North Carolina. That's where it's most likely that we see frost. I don't see a problem here for that in the upstate, so that's some good news. On Thursday, of course, this is what we do not want to see, but we're two days away and we're facing a slight to potentially enhanced threat for severe weather. Yet again, this would be Thursday afternoon, I think, for the upstate and northeast Georgia. Timing threat still kind of something to watch, but certainly looking uh, like a fairly active day Thursday. Friday we catch a break Saturday and we're looking at another thunderstorm threat. It looks like a little bit less active than Thursday. We still got days to watch that though. That's some good news Sunday and Monday. We go back to sunshine.